guess where we are? Yep, you guessed it. We're back in the crazy kitchen. Welcome to my crazy. So we're back once again. We're going to do another Christmas Mart special. Um, today we're going to do, um, it's a very simple recipe, um, but it has several different names. Um, somewhere you can go and they'll be called Reibekuchen or Kartoffelpuffer or, as we know it, potato pancakes. <laughs> so depending on where you go, you'll see that different, you'll see it called a different way, a different thing. It's a very simple recipe. Um, they're very easy to make. And once we get done at the end, I'll show you how, or I will, yeah, I'll show you how I like to enjoy them. It wasn't something I would have thought about at first, um, but that's how they do them here in Germany at the Christmas Mart. But that acquired taste grew on me, and that's how I like to eat them. So let's get started. All right. Okay, so first things first, you need a either a food processor or a very good blender. Or you can do it the old-fashioned way and you can get your hand grater and grate the potatoes. You will not catch me doing it the old-fashioned way. So I have here, I don't think this is a very, I don't know if you have it in the United States. Um, I don't think anybody in the States has, has heard of it, but I have what you call a thermal mix and it does everything. So yeah, it just does everything. I can't get into everything that it does, but it does everything. It will slice, dice, grate, puree, grind, cook, it does everything. So you'll need that, something that will make your potatoes small. So this recipe, we're gonna do about 700 grams of, you need a, a not so floury or starchy potato, not starchy, but like floury, not, you wouldn't use a russet potato. You would need maybe like a Yukon Gold. You could use that. So we're gonna use, here in Germany, they call them Festkuchen. And you use your Festkuchen potatoes more for like soups and um, what else would you do? Maybe like a salad where it's gonna, where it holds its form. It's not gonna be, you wouldn't use this, you wouldn't use a Festkuchen potato for uh, mashed potatoes or something like that. So we're gonna use um, 700 grams of fest Kolken potatoes, Yukon Gold. And then we have two small onions or you could use one large onion. I like onions, so the more onion, the better. <laughs> so we're gonna put all that in there. Then you'll need two eggs. Of course, I'm using my egg substitute. So we're just gonna put that down in there. Okay, and the next, I'm doing a combination. You can do, with 700 grams of potatoes, you could probably do five to six tablespoons of flour. I'm gonna do a combination. So I'm doing three tablespoons of flour, and then I'm doing um, two tablespoons of oatmeal. Then you'll do two teaspoons of salt and however much pepper you want in there. I like pepper, so I did a whole teaspoon of pepper. And then nutmeg, but just a very little bit of nutmeg. So just a little bit. For this amount of potato, that's probably good enough. Now we're gonna put this on our docking station so that it can work. This is the Thermomix and it's on its, you know, home station. I don't know what it's called, docking, whatever. Let me bring it just a little bit closer. Oops, okay. Well, I don't wanna take it out of the frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I've got it closed. This lid has to lock in place. So it's locked when you hear that. And then I'm going to go ahead and set it for five seconds. And then I'm gonna turn it to um, level five and let it go for five seconds. Now I'm just gonna turn it on and then I will come back because it's pretty loud. So you guys don't wanna hear this the whole time. Okay, so we've got it small. This is our consistency. It's not like smooth smooth it's just kind of like ground up but chunky a little bit a little bit 
and now we're going to drop it into our oil. I did a combination um, of oil and a little bit of butter. So we're going to just drop this down on there. And then we'll let those cook. got our first batch done I'm still gonna go ahead and cook the rest of them but um, I wanted to go ahead and show you so this is the final result this is how it looks from both sides and I wanted to show you how I eat them so I some people do this some people do that I like both so I get a combination of both so of course this is vegan but it is a cream cheese nope sour cream <laughs> it's a sour cream and then I just take a little bit of herb seasoning and chives chives and I mix it together and then that's how I eat it so when you go to a Christmas mark they have what they call cream fresh and sometimes the cream fresh will have herb seasoning and sometimes it'll just be plain cream fresh but cream fresh is a it's similar very similar to a sour cream or some people eat it with applesauce and so at first I was like mm, applesauce no thank you <laughs> but um, I kind of like it so I enjoy that now. all right so we're gonna do a taste test we'll taste both with the, one with the cream fresh and then we'll do um, one with the applesauce so I don't know if you can hear that crunch oh it's still pretty hot let me cut that smaller I don't like my food piping hot to go in my mouth. I know some people like it that way. I don't. Okay, so there is with the sour cream and the potato. Perfection. Absolute perfection. Mmm, perfection. Okay, now we're going to try it with the applesauce. There's, whoops, there's applesauce on there. Mmm, yep. Oh my goodness. So I wanna show you the inside of it. That's how the inside of it looks. Mmm, hear that crunch here, let me. <laughs> Are y'all being good little monkeys? Are you being a good little monkey? There's a the monkey right there. Okay. Bailey, sit. Boo Boo went first yesterday, so you can have yours first today. I, wait. Look at me. Bailey. 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 
Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. Shorty, be nice. Be nice. Stop. <laughs> What's wrong? Because I can't do it and have my phone at the same time. All finished. So let me show y'all what the dogs have. Okay, everything's gonna fall. Oh, everything's falling out. Marcus makes them pretty much every year homemade doggy cookies. And so they have homemade doggy cookies. And I just told them that they could have one, so I gotta give them a doggy cookie. So here's what they look like. Here's what they look like. Paws, and then these are like stars. Uh oh these are like stars. So this size shorty will get. You're not supposed to be in the kitchen, go. Bailey out. Okay, one cookie for you, one cookie for you. And shorty, Short, shorty's cookie will come later. He's still trying to eat his treat. <laughs> it was a pretty big one for him today. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me today for my Greibekuchen Christmas Mark at home. <laughs> Yum. And until tomorrow, so long, farewell, I'll be to sing goodnight. See you in the next one. It is cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe and I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree tomorrow